more time. His shot, oh. and he scores! Yeah. Wedge right there. Puck comes right in front, shot right on the doorstep. Oh! Save, oh. rebound, score! Gavin McClare off the shot that was knocked away. This is the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League Weekly Report. I'm Andy Dickerson. In Week 19, we once again had a five-game broadcast slate that started with a single Friday night contest between D1 Bellarmine and Orange Lutheran. Andrew Ford got a good look early, but was denied by Bell goalie Connor Young. Shortly thereafter, A.J. Frosch had to fend off a breakaway from Jared Southwell and did so with ease. After killing off a penalty, the Lancers got on the board first as Parker Brakeville slid a pass across to Chase Young and he pounded it into the back of the net. Later, Shane Vidger bull rushed three bells and opened up space for Jacob Nelson, who blasted it over Young's shoulder to extend the lead to two. Then Vale Artizone made a beautiful move to the backhand and stuffed the puck past Young to make it 3-0 Lancers. Pierce launched one from the point on the power play, but Young adjusted and stopped him and Brakeville on the doorstep. The power play did connect in the second period, though, as Jacob Furry tipped a Ryan Sanchez point shot past Young to push the lead to four. Goal of the game came after that as Ryan Fisher sprinted forward, toe-dragged around a defender, and slipped it by Young to make it 5-0. Frosch initially denied Southwell for a second time late in the period, but the puck somehow trickled through to spoil the shutout. Jacob Heller struck right back with a deep pass to poke-checking Young, and that sealed the deal. Six different goal scorers for the Lancers, while A.J. Frosch made 16 stops to record his fifth win of the season. The Bells returned Saturday morning for their last D1 game of the regular season, facing off against Santa Margarita. It was senior day for the Eagles as they recognized a massive senior class of 12 prior to the game. Festivities didn't end there as the Eagles jumped on the Bells right away. So this is the last breed of eighth graders. Oh, Fire wow! Through the slot, oh, and a sin puts it home. I don't think Young ever saw it, and the Eagles lead it one to nothing. Oh, oh, big hit by Tchaikovsky. Oh, the hoey on the cross ice pass shot. Punch Save, out. rebound, school, and it goes off the shoulder of Young and up over the top. The shot away comes out to Hoey. He's got a chance, oh, and they wow. score! With a half a second to go, it I was deflected. It was with the tip. In front, either. Milani, his shot comes oh. through, nearly deflected. A save, oh. rebound, score! Gavin McClure. Gavin McClure off the shot that was knocked away. Off the uh, pardon the pun. Oh! That one went right off the oh. post behind Young, and he sat on top of it. Southwell. What's a shot go between the wickets of Gardner? Oh, in front, wow. reaching forward as Hardwick. Shot oh, score! Wow. Akins, the senior, wraps it up with under two minutes to go. Oh, watch out! They add another one here with McClare. 34 seconds to go. He's got himself a power play goal, his second of the game. It was all Eagles in this one as they downed the Bells 5-0. Two goals for Captain Kevin McClare and a 21-save shutout for senior Jack Hardwick. Next up was a varsity D2 tilt between Los Alamitos and Villa Park. Look over the side, side best of it. Shot comes in and scored! I believe they're going to give that to Brad Slurp. After Tristan Peterson had the original shot, enters the zone, three on three, fires a shot, kick blocker, save, another save right there. Opples into the corner, now behind the net. Here's Okanski, center, pass right there, shot, score! Turn on the Jets again, leading a three on two. Here comes Kyle walking in, center, pass, shot, oh, and what a save! Unable to get all of it right there was Cole Whitehead. Keanu Manuula now picks it up, drops it down low to Slurp, Slurp on the backhand, save, rebound, score! It's come way out. Now there, right there, is taken away. The shot comes in and score! Great individual effort right there by Liam McCansky. As he gets over to Hayton, here comes James now walking in. Fires the shot and scores! To the, the water. As Kamba now walks in. The centering pass shot and score again! And give it to number 81, Brennan Davis. You have a man right behind here. Here's Okansky looking for the Hattie all by himself. Walks in, shot, score! Liam O'Cansey goes top shelf right where Mama keeps the cookies. And with that goal, gives Phillip Park a commanding three goal lead. And speaking of which, on cue, here's Kyle now walking in, walks in, fires a shot, and bangs it off the crossbar. Do you have too many men on the ice before the puck is dropped? Not oh, watch out, the puck goes in, and is that, oh my goodness, guess who that is again? It's O'Cansey again. Science. Science. As I said, biology, what's wrong with biology? That's not, they're calling that a goal? 
Long now looking for the Hattie himself. He walks in, backhand shot, score! And the hat trick to Kyle Long. Brad Schlerf scored twice for the Griffins, but a hat trick from Jacob Long and four goals from Liam Okanski were too much to overcome. 8-4 Spartans. We shifted back to Varsity D1 for the next game, Jay Serra versus Orange Lutheran. Like Santa Margarita, it was senior day for the Lions as they recognized their 10 graduating players for their accomplishments throughout their high school careers. After the ceremony, they strapped on their buckets and went to work against a hungry Lancer squad with first place in the division on the line. Have possession, but then taken away by Reed one more time. He's shot, uh -oh. and he scores! Yep. Oh, he popped the water bottle over the shoulder of Frost. The Lions have a power play goal. It's one to nothing. I was going to skew. Now no, it, it's, it's a lot closer to. <laughs> Here's a shot and a save by Valdez to Reed. Door pass. Phillips, his shot comes in and a save. LeMay, a shot, save, rebounds out front, shot comes through, where is it? It's loose! Tries to center it out front, oh! shot out, save by a sprawling Valdez! Wow. He tries to beat Vischer, here's a slash. Oh. Oh, He's oh, gonna turn shot. on the Jets. He's oh, what a move! A couple of times he gets through, shoots, oh. and a save by Frosch! Heller, tried to send one through the crease. Oh, somehow that eluded all those sticks right there. And what a front. save! Oh, and Young comes to hold it in, keeps it on side. Furry underneath, oh. trying to juggle it, and that one caught by the Piers back into the fray. Halkel in front, shoots oh. and a glove save by Frost. Wow. Well, you know how I am about my opinion. Halkel shoots. Oh. Oh. Scores! Dave Halkel! Oh, excuse me, is that Brendan Pagani over on the far side who fired that one in? Behind the net, and that one bounces off the boards, came right to Sanchez. Back to five on five. He fires oh, a shot, they oh, score! Bell oh. on his own, on the deflection, on the shot oh. by Sanchez. It's 2-1. The Lances are back with it up into the air. Here's a shot, Halkala missed just wide, right to LeMay, who spins around, he scores! Wow. The senior, Francis LeMay, may have just salted Division One out of the reach of Orange Lutheran. A goal and an assist by Brennan Pagani and 17 saves from Nick Valdez helped the Lions clinch first place in Varsity D1 with a 3-1 win. The last game of the day was a crossover matchup between Bellarmine Bells and the Corona Norco Stingrays. See, he brings it in, top of the slot, middle of the slot, leaves it for Risto. Risto walks in, fires a shot, and that's gloved down once again by Cross North. Top of the faceoff circle, back down low to Jimenez. Jimenez tries a center pass, shot, score! Try to see who it is. Oh, that's Southwell. Southwell walks in, fires a shot in, scores! Top shelf right where Mama keeps the cookies. Jared Southwell ties this game at one. Oh, and look at the commission right there. Shot comes in, score! Go by number 24, Nathan Chavez. Back over now, here's shot and score! Matt Galoni lights the lamp. There by Markowski, a block in that shot. Southwell now, top of the slot, fires a shot and scores! Jared Southwell, good penalty kill right there. Zorch steals the puck from Risto and shoots and scores as it rolls up over the shoulder of Porter Bartram. The Bells ended their regular season on a high note with their third win in league play. Jared Southwell potted two goals while Cross North picked up the victory. In other action, in Lakewood, Servite survived two late goals from the Lancers to hold on to a 4-3 win. Jeremy Madrid had two points for Bishop Amott, while Nicholas Redkowski had two goals for the Friars. Also in Lakewood, Edison down to modern day, 5-4. Jake Geely had the only goal in the final frame, which turned out to be the game winner. Jake Thomas had two goals for the Monarchs in the loss. The third game in Lakewood, the Braves stayed undefeated for their 11th win of the season, 5-0 over Poway. Sebastian Slavic had a hat trick and an assist. Finally, our last game was down in Carlsbad. Ethan Crick made 36 save for the Tories, but they fell one goal short as the Spartans won 3-2. Drake Usher and Riley Trebilcock had a goal and assist apiece. This weekend we have four games on the schedule starting Friday night with a Varsity D3 doubleheader as Santa Margarita will take on Servite at 6.45 p.m. followed by Olu Edison at 8.30 p.m. Then on Saturday we'll have a Varsity D2 clash between Villa Park and Capistrano United at 1.30 p.m. followed by our last D1 game of the regular season as the Eagles and Lancers take the ice at 3.30 p.m. Watch all four of these games live on Black Dog Enterprises. Check out ADHSHL.com for the latest info on the league. And for the ADHSHL, I'm Andy Dickerson. So long.